Hello everybody, my name is Maxon91 and this is World of Tanks Blitz which is a usual game you're going to see in this channel. In front of us we have the E100 Super Heavy Tank but this it isn't a review. I'm making this video because well, after I posted uh, slash uploaded the video of a Frozen Shell and to be more, more size two hours after I uploaded the, vi the video I made the ace tanker on the E100 and I told you all that I'm going to make a video about that and well I'm going to make it so how you can access your replays because I had been asked this stuff Go to your avatar, click the avatar, go to replace. In my case, favorites. You have least and so on and so on. Currently, I'm going for the ace tanker of the mouse. So, after some time, you will see a video with ace on a mouse. But this time, this was, let's say, the 20th ish battle. With the sole idea of making an ace game, which was very interesting to be honest. I thought that I would need more spotting and more damage to make an ace tanker game with this game. Uh, now here I suppose the object is to say it saw that this one having these obstacles also these rocks. He is a good player. Now here to be honest I'm waiting for somebody there or somebody over here. I'm waiting. First, I saw on the minimap three medium tanks. Oh, okay. we have three mediums and one heavy tank. They will be able to do this. I decided to do this. He and after this, I saw the heavy tank. In this moment, I recognized all three of the enemy team of the first class. is there. There, sell the six A and the T fifty four, which managed to do a nice shooting from and also the deprivation. Now Over there, I was wondering how I need to go up or go here. Okay, let's go here. Here is the objects. The object we need to help. And also, his Kaiji Alpha gun. And I need him for help. So, I smacked the path. It's the device tight ass. Yeah. Also I got the arms of the 101 of the opponents of the enemy team and in right about here I recognize that I didn't expect it expect it. My explosive Now, you 
calculation from the E100 which now has only triple my health and a bit and he managed to kill my friend here and now I had just for a second I had two choices in many occasions in the following let's say 10 seconds I will have these exact choices run down into him try to ram him and get as much health as I can and possibly die because if I do not kill him with this ram I will be in this kind of position in which he can penetrate me even with high explosive because he is going to see the top of my hole and the top of my turret flat on in some cases which isn't a good idea uh, most of my teammates in the clan knows that in most of the cases I'm going to jump on and I don't care but here I am trying to get an ace so I decided okay let's see nah nah and now he's maybe reloaded judging by my uh, gun I'm trying to get him to fire and also get out of there I want to go down I also saw that he is going forward, so I will be in a very inconvenient position after some time, so let's pull back, let him come up, keep in mind this, at the moment he is with the advantage, he has a nice shot on my lower glazes here. just for a sec like that he has at the moment the advantage and I'm pulling back even more yes I will need this upslope here so I could possibly use it to hide my lower glazes Now, the pattern I understand you do, I won't even bother, to be honest. I'm waiting him to come, because I have another heat, I can penetrate his turret form with the heat, and I'm waiting him to come. I need this pen at the moment. I'm angling my turret. Yes, this is the best way to bounce. And shot him with my turret. This is a very bad idea. With normal round, you won't be able to punch the front internet of the E100 when you're in the E100 at this extent. With the exception of this. Now, I shot first. I penetrated him. He shot second and he didn't manage to penetrate me. He saw 
that I'm trying to get the battle in as close quarters as I can. Reason? I don't have any any more heat. So I need to be as close as I can so I could penetrate this part over here. And I'm sitting like this. He he tries to angle something from these close quarters in a fight. E100 versus E100. Dude. You can't angle like that. Because most of the let's say experienced players with the E100 will know that in this kind of close quarters he can't penetrate you here. And he's going to do this. The only way you're going to survive is go back down there and hope that I won't follow. Because now I have more health and I know that if I ram you, I'm going to kill you. Most of my teammates told me great game, so on and so on. Yes, I know it was a great game, but it was a great game because of an experienced player in an E100. And this was a calibrating battle in rating. So I don't know how the matchmaker works at the moment in World of Tanks Blitz, to be honest. Uh, the least thing I, I was informed for the matchmaker was this. It's searching the same type of vehicle in the enemy team. This isn't fair because let's say it like that. Uh, in a 100 it isn't equal EO, I'm sorry, to M103. The same stance as in this particular battle. One E100 it isn't equal to two in 100s Neither one mouse to two. Um, Maybe they are comparing the guns because we had object 6 to 8 but they had the grill and so on and so on. Oh no, ace tanker, high caliber, damage blocked, damage caused, knockdown, destruction existence, okay, enemies destroyed damage and so on and so on to be honest i again am telling you i don't know why with so low amount of damage i managed to get the ace tanker i had games with 5400 damage done five kills and so on and so on and i received first class but here no idea to be honest the team as I told you, the Object 268 was a very nice guy and he, he has done his uh, his damage roll, to be honest, here. Uh, the pattern, if the pattern in the enemy team was alive, let's say it like that, I would have problems, but he died pretty much fast. The MX 30 b was a very nice player also, no matter that he had under 2000 damage. And the T-54, um, let's say it like that, um, he noticed what the pattern is writing, he tried to defend myself, uh, dude, thank you very much, I don't need that, by the way. Um, the only thing which I can say at the moment is this, the pattern was one of the first to die in his own team um, no matter the damage if you leave let's say two vehicles on low amount of health versus one vehicle of yours on big amount of health 
the chances that this vehicle, no matter which kind of vehicle is going to be, is going to survive, is uh, near to none. Because in this case, E100 on low amount of damage, yes, but the average damage is 500 hit points. Object 268 on a half, a, a half of its life points at some moment. Yeah, but the average damage is nearly six, 600. So both of these vehicles, when shoot and penetrate an enemy wing E100, no matter that it has 2000 life points, it's going to die pretty fast. Because, well, even in this kind of position, the lower glacis was one of the things which was pretty easy to be penetrated by the 268 in this case um, to be honest I think the, six, the 268 player didn't have any premium ammo but if he had used them most likely he would kill the enemy with E100 because he will penetrate him and after this blow his ammunition apart but this was the game I had to carry on uh, this player was very good player and with him we carried out our team I fired 9 shots my shots all penetrated hit the target and penetrated mm, damaged 5 vehicles destroyed 3 damage caused 4.9 K with my assistance 570 um, total amount of uh, 5478 which again it isn't very high amount of uh, damage for this particular vehicle the efficiency as you see the pattern 790 this was my first shot in the ass of the pattern and to be honest I thought to switch to high explosive because with high explosive of the 100 you will over penetrate the ass of the pattern but in this position particularly I decided to shoot the AP now the E100 which get two shots one in the ass one in the frontal plate um, I'm going to show you where I was aiming at the first shot I don't know how but the shell passed through his track and inside him and cause damage the second shell I'm sorry the first shell also caused damage to the engine which is nice because the E100 is slow even when everything is okay but with the broken engine yeah the second shell will penetrate it and destroy him now the grill one shot nearly thousand damage mm, non critically damaged gun then 103 now uh, in the replay you can see this I shoot down the M103 in the idler wheel the reason is simple the idler wheel is mounted on the hull and near and also the idler wheel on this vehicle is on the hull so when you over penetrate the idler wheel you're going inside the hull of the vehicle also yeah. now the second t100 four shots fired four shots penetrated i also managed to track him maybe this was to damage his tracks maybe this was after the little ram which we had engaged in um, I'm going to show you on my 100 where particularly 
I shop. Now, in uh, let's say this kind of distance, you won't be able to penetrate this part over here, which is right between the upper plate of the turret and the hole. You may say that this is a lower plate of the turret, but it's a very small target and you won't be able to penetrate it as easily with something like the E100. So use the heat and penetrate the turret. When you use the heat, this part over here is easily available to be penetrated. In close combat, use, uh, use armor piercing and as you also two shots into his lower glazes of the turret and they go in and they do also very big amount of damage on some internal modules but in this case I didn't care, I needed only to pen him and destroy him. Now, for the first T100 which was on a funny angle and so on and so on and so on and I penetrated him. He was on an angle like that. In this angle like that my shell, if I aimed here, would bounce. If I aimed from the welds up, the shell will, will bounce. But if I aim here, the shell will go in. And this is what I have done. Oh no, it was very risky in uh, this particular sh shot. It was very risky in this particular situation. Because if the first T100 survived, I will would have a very, very bad day. But the RNG was with me. So, this was an ace game with tier 10. One of the two of the three, I'm sorry, super heavy tanks in the German tech tree. I hope you all enjoyed the video if this is the case. Please leave a like, comment, share or subscribe. If you have some kind of ideas, share it. In, share the idea into the comments. Because this will help me to grow the channel. And also again if you if you know someone who will like to see videos on World of Tax Blitz, share him my channel so the channel could grow. The idea here is not to gain money, it's to gain uh, not even to gain a support to share more fun. So this was for me, I'm Max191, have a nice day and bye bye!